Hi there, have you ever wanted to make soap before and you just found the information out there either way conflicting or overwhelming and you just didn't know where to start? Then you are at the right place. My name is Anza Smith and I would love to introduce my online Udemy soap making course to you. In this course we take a step-by-step -step approach and we're going to move from A to Z and with everything in between. First we will look at safety equipment. What you need and why you need it. We don't monkey around with chemicals. But trust me, it looks much scarier than it really is. If you follow the safety guidelines, you can make soap in a safe way. Then, we look at soap making equipment. What are the bare basics that you need for soap making? It is probably way less than you think, and you might even have most of it already. Then, what is the luxury equipment, and what will save you time? Because you know what they say, time is money, but we don't want it to cost you more than it is worth. We cover the base ingredients and look in depth at oil properties and why different oils sometimes give very different end results in soap. With this information you will be able to choose specific oils according to your needs and your budget so that you can formulate your own custom made recipe. We look at natural and synthetic colorants that you can use in soap, as to where they come from, how they are made and also how they perform in soap, as well as how different soap making methods will influence your colors. Naturally, we'll also look at essential oils and synthetic fragrances in soap. I will teach you how to calculate and use your fragrance oils just to make sure that they are skin safe. And we will also look at if fragrance oils are suited for soap making or not. We spent a bit more time on the essential oils because it is easy to pay more than what it is worth. I will show you how to test essential oils to see if they were diluted with carrier oils or not. I will also give you tips and pointers on how to read your labeling ploys and the fine print that some suppliers use, just to make sure that you get the best value for your money. Then there are other ingredients, for example, herbs and clays that you can also use and add more goodness to your soap. We look at all the different possibilities as well as different ways how to incorporate it in your soap. The last ingredients are exfoliators, the good, the bad and the really scratchy that you must avoid. With all of our ingredient choices, we go into detail on how to measure your mold volume and ease every ingredient that must still go into it. And of course, recipe formulation with free online soap calculators just doubles the fun. I will show you exactly how to use them for recipe formulation, inventory management as well as costing. For the making part of soap itself, I demonstrate every step from measuring your ingredients, mixing the oils and light to the right consistency that we call trace and when to add all the lovely extra ingredients and how to pour it in your mold. Packaging and labeling laws are also included should you want to sell your soap one day. Then some detailed fault finding. Just for you, those of you like me who like to wander outside the guidelines and push on boundaries. I'll show you exactly what not to do, what it looks like in soap for identification purposes and also how to fix these mistakes or avoid them altogether. Then last but not least, I've included the bonus section with DIY tutorials on how to make your own soap making equipment on a shoestring budget and some other pointers to save you from making costly mistakes. Because if you need to buy something, you need to buy the right thing the first time. Oh, and something about owning a Udemy course. It's yours, forever. Yep, you have lifelong access to it, so you can do it at your own pace, in your own space and it's backed with a money back guarantee. So there's really nothing that can stop you from becoming a master soap grafter. Enroll today and soap away.